What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are on our way to meet up with Wombo and the drive down to Wombo's house is a perfect example of when I throw the most amount of smoke out of the exhaust. I won't really be on the gas most of the way down because it's all pretty much downhill, but as soon as I get to this part right here, I'll downshift here. As soon as I gas it, As of lately, I've only been seeing it on like downhill drives like this where I'm not really on the gas and as soon as I get on it, it throws a huge puff of white smoke out of the back. Other than that, the car doesn't have any issues. Before we did the turbo swap, I would get a lot of smoke at like stoplights and stuff. We made it to Wombo's house. We're gonna be getting his fenders rolled today by Ruben. He has a roller and he's pretty good at doing it. So we're gonna get the fronts done today because Wombo is rubbing quite a bit. The rears were done a really long time ago so we won't have to worry about those. <laughs> Ready, Wombo? Let's go. Let's get it. We are here at Ruben's house. He's getting started on the fender rolling. How you been, Ruben? Same old, same old. <laughs> Good to see you, bro. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, Ruben is actually Javi's brother. And this is his bug eye right here. It's changed quite a bit since the last time you guys have seen it. He got some new wheels, the new Falcons that just came out. Yeah. How are those tires? Oh, dude, they're so good. You nice recommend them? Sticky. I, I feel like I want to get those if they're in my size, you know? I think uh, they're releasing the rest of the sizes. Oh, really? This year, yeah. Because I need a 30 sidewall. Oh, that's right. Huh? Yeah. Because of your, yeah. If they make these tires in the size that I need, I'm definitely going to go with these. Ruben has been running Falcons for a really long time and there's some really good tires. Another thing that he did to the front end was these headlights. He used to have the JDM ones and he retrofitted these and I think they look really good. And I think my favorite thing that he just got done is the damned steering wheel that he just got from Japan. This thing is sick, dude. Wait, wait. <laughs> Yo, this it's is sick. sick. Huh? Even the seats, dude. I was so iffy on these damn steering wheels until like I'm seeing it now and feeling it in person. It's actually sick, huh? Dude, yeah. He also has these bridge seats. Super sick, dude. I love Ruben's car. But Ruben said that we could take the car out and go drive it. I'm so excited. This car is always so much fun to drive. I think I've only driven it like twice, but it's such an amazing car, guys. He also just got a fire extinguisher mounted in the back that looks clean <laughs> dude i barely fit <laughs> we sit so low <laughs> dude <laughs> just let it warm up a bit changed my mind about these damn steering wheels they're actually so sick and they're a little i think they're a little smaller than the oem which is nice you ready ready dude this is the same exhaust that i'm running Oh, is it? I got it from him. It sounds so good, but I feel like it sounds way better on his car. I don't know why. It sounds different. It does, huh? Yeah. Look, his has such a sick tone. The shifter, too, is like super notchy because he's done all the bushings on it. So it feels sick. For me, they're like, I don't know, they're snug. Yeah, they're hella snug. But for you, maybe a little bigger, I don't know. Yeah. It's perfect for me though, I like these seats. Love this car, dude. I fucking love this car. 
Alright, Wombo has to experience this car, so he's gonna drive it. Oh, it's so hard getting out of these seats. Alright, here we go. You ready? Dude. Gotta get used to the gears, you know? <laughs> nah, you got it. Look at that. The clutch is just like mine, so it's a little heavy. But Wombo's got it. What do you think? First impressions. Yeah, it's sick, huh? Yeah. I feel like it's nothing compared to our car. Dude, I know. <laughs> you can just like automatically feel, dude. Yeah. Like what? Like it's just ready to go like all the time, you know? The thing that I was telling Wombo is that with like my car, I feel like you hit red line so fast. And with Rubens, it's like it's going, huh? It just goes, yeah. goes, 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 goes. And you're boosting hard the whole time. I think it does though. I think it's like pretty close. Well, I'm almost saying that this is like, yeah, like a race car feel. I don't know. It really does though. I think everything put together, it just makes this car like what it is. All the bushings that he's done with the shifter and like how that feels and the way these seats hug you in. The tires too, they're super sticky. I don't know, everything about this car, it just, it flows together so well and it, it makes it feel like an actual race car. different in the passenger seat too I get like more butterflies dude it's sick though I love this car so much I'll never stop saying that guys all right we made it back what'd you think Wombo? dude at some point he did it right he did dude yeah Wamba loves this car, dude. dude. I don't even want to get out. <laughs> How'd it feel? Dude, it's crazy. It's how looking nice. <laughs> Does it feel different than you? I'm speechless. Oh, dude. Yeah? It's crazy. So Ruben is all done. That was quick, dude. That wasn't even an hour. You got it's them all easy, done. It's like one, only one ply of sheet metal. Uh huh. The rears are two, so it's a little bit harder. Yeah. Yeah, they came out good. Yeah, Wombo shouldn't be rubbing anymore. We almost lost the bumper. <laughs> like it's camber in. Yeah, I guess, so when they aligned it, mm -hmm. they zeroed out the camber again, I think. Uh -oh. And me and Nongo had added a negative degree, oh, so he okay. wouldn't rub, and then he started rubbing again. Oh, I think I aligned. Yeah, so I think he should be good now. My car is still having that issue where when you go into boost, it kind of like, what would you call that? Like, it cuts? Yeah, like, like it's getting fuel cut. It almost feels like you're on launch control in the middle of the RPMs. Yeah. So, Ruben thinks that it might be the, the three-part boost controller. So he's throwing his manual boost controller on mine. And then we're going to go do a pull and see if maybe there's a difference. Ruben told me to do a second gear pull, 3,000 RPMs. I just did one and the car feels good. Let's try again though. Didn't do it. Didn't do it? It didn't I do it. You. Dude. It's a piece of shit. Look at this controller. <laughs> I don't know if I want to get my hopes up though. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, if you put those lines back on, I bet you it's going to do it again. Yeah. So Ruben now hooked up the Grim Speed one that's mine. So we're going to go test it and see if it does it now. If it does, then we know that it's that three port. I don't get it. 
Ruben thinks that it has to be that because that's the only thing that we changed and it changed the way the car is running. So It's been a couple of hours since that last clip that you guys saw and I kept driving the car, I kept boosting. I wasn't having that boosting issue all day and now that we're at higher elevation, I just boosted the car and it's doing it again. It's like 3,000 to 4,000 RPM where it does it. So I go full throttle. Breaks apart. Breaks apart and then boosts. I'm not really sure why it's doing it at higher elevation because down there uh, the car runs fine. It was running fine the entire day after that. I'm going to look into that three port. Like Ruben said, I'm pretty sure that's going to be our issue. But regardless, I think I am going to end up ordering the manual boost controller. I know it's a little safer to run a three port, but I'm kind of over this problem and I just want to kind of run what Ruben's running because he's never had an issue with his. Hopefully that ends up being the issue. If you guys have ever experienced anything like this, make sure you let me know down in the comments. Any info at this point would be a huge help. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next one.